I'm Dr. Orion Terban, and this is Psych Hacks, Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is don't ignore air resistance. Do you remember high school physics? All the problems you were probably asked to solve required you to assume these unreal ideal conditions. For instance, they asked you to ignore air resistance in aerodynamics problems or to ignore friction in motion problems. And while helping students understand the essential forces of nature by reducing the level of complexity involved might be a useful intellectual exercise, this is not at all how the real world works. In the real world, there is friction. In the real world, there is air resistance. Now, if we're used to approaching problems from an ideal perspective, then we're likely going to become frustrated when resistance presents itself inevitably in the course of our action. Furthermore, we will probably underestimate the amount of time, energy, and resources required to obtain our goals. Where there is friction and air resistance, more time and energy is always required to overcome those forces in the movement forward. This is a universal law of nature. Refusing to account for the presence of these forces will likely result in poor planning, which has serious consequences. This is sort of akin to estimating how long it will take to get from point A to point B without traffic. Not a very useful projection during evening rush hour. So you see, this kind of selective inattention can really cause problems for folks. Now, it's also important to keep in mind that some things require friction and air resistance. Planes fly because of air resistance. This force is basically what provides the lift that keeps the plane in the air. So without air resistance, we couldn't have flight. Primitive fire making requires friction. In these cases, the resistant forces actually become the means to the end. Ah, very clever. Take a moment to consider how you might be able to use the resistance you encounter in your life in the service of your goals. So, not only is it not a good idea to ignore resistance in the real world because it will likely increase your susceptibility to frustration and reduce your capacity to plan realistically, but also because doing so will de facto simply prevent you from achieving certain ends which require resistance to function. On the other hand, if you expect resistance, you can factor that into your calculations to make more prudent estimates. You can also better keep your cool when things go sideways, because on some level, the resistance was part of your plan all along. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to suggest a topic for a future episode or to schedule a consultation, you can reach me at psychaxpodcast at gmail.com. Talk to you soon.